morning everybody welcome back to another video again on the channel hope everyone's doing well um, as you can tell probably from the lighting back in lovely London beautiful weather only joking it's freezing um, freezing for me anyway after coming from 27 degrees every day but back in London it's 12 degrees today uh, arrived this weekend today's Monday back to work so I'm heading down to Wembley today and going to be doing a bathroom or starting a bathroom today so I'm on my own today for the first day um, so I'm just gonna see what I can start on my own this bathroom is a small bathroom so um, we'll see how we get on and how quickly we can get this bathroom turned around um, but yeah, I'm just on my way to work now and in lovely traffic again. I haven't had traffic for five weeks back in the traffic again. So happy days, but it's good to be back. Good to be back to work and so on. And uh, I'm going to try my best to get some good videos done for you guys as well. I'll show you some of the projects that we've got lined up. So we'll see you on the other side. Thanks for watching. is to remove this radiator which we're going to keep the toilet is going to stay and the bath's going to stay so to make sure we, we don't damage these when we're taking them out so i'm going to drain the radiator take the radiator out and then i can get all this cladding off um, i think there's a layer of tiles behind it as well so we'll just see as we go along what we find so first things first take this radiator off first thing we do is we're going to uh, shut the valves here, yeah, which is clockwise. Shut them. Then I will be able to loosen these, drain some water out, get these brackets off, take it off, and drain it into the sink. So that will be the next step.
house has recently been rewired. Um, hence all these holes in the ceiling and so on. So this is an old light that was here. I believe it's dead, but I'm just going to test it with this tester. How this works is if there's a live cable, it will beep uh, constantly. Um, if there's a neutral cable, it beeps intermittently. So I should get no beeps at all if these are not connected. Uh, to test it, I know this is live, which is the light switch. Let's turn it on. So that's near the neutral. And the lab is nearer to here. So you can see this is live. So now we put on this one. We have no beeps at all. I'm pretty confident this cable is completely dead. Um, and it's been cut off. So I'm going to cut this cable right here. This is a drywall wall. So I'll just push the excess into the hole. Then we can get rid of this light altogether. gone so now I'm going to take off this mirror and after the mirror probably take out the sink the sink is going is getting thrown away so there'll be a new sink I'll leave the toilet and the bath for today take out the sink clear all this stuff out and then I'm gonna attempt to take off this paneling and the, the floor tiles as well and this floor will get new plywood and then we will either tile or put a liner. We're not sure what's going to go down yet, so we're just waiting to find out. But we will put our plywood, new plywood down on this floor. Okay, so we've got a good result. There are actually no tiles behind there. This paneling comes up in pieces like this. And we've got lucky plastered wall, which is excellent. Because the plan was to actually skim this wall if you needed it and paint this area and only tile where the existing areas are tiled. So this doesn't need any plastering. There's a few holes here and there, a bit of filling take these patterns off, fill in the holes and and they'll be good to paint. So, excellent. You just never know what you find sometimes. Sometimes it's better than you think, sometimes it's worse than you think. So but good start. So let's test. We've got no 
what's up? These are now off, so we can disconnect these. so we can get this stuff out the back and obviously take the tiles out. So I'm going to shut off the water supply for the toilet. There's a valve here. Disconnect the inlet with the water that fills up the toilet. We can flush it to empty this system, unscrew it from the floor and then slide it out. So it is quite simple to do. two screws on the floor, then we can pull it out. Now the drain up bowl, because there will always be water in the bowl.
So guys, this is where I've ended up today. So I've taken out the toilet, sink, the radiator. All the cladding has been removed. The floor tiles and the old plywood has been removed as well. So we'll be back tomorrow to remove the tiles off the walls and continue the project. So thanks for watching and catch up on the next video.